There is a part of the Star Wars universe that's been hugely ignored by all of us, all of the fans of this franchise. Have you ever heard about the High Republic? I am pretty sure you've heard these words at least once. Some of you may even know what it means. Well, I am going to explain to you today why we need to pay more attention to this Star Wars era. If you go to the official Star Wars website and hover over the databank tab, there you will notice a category called eras. There you can see all the movies and shows added in each era of the Star Wars timeline. They have added this tab to help us more easily understand where each show, movie and video game stands in the Star Wars timeline, which is really nice. Can you notice something unusual about it? There are three eras that don't have any show, movie or content present in them. Dawn of the Jedi, The Old Republic and The New Jedi Order. First of all, I am glad that The Old Republic is now considered a canon part of the franchise, however, I don't think the Kotor games are canon at least yet. We know that Lucasfilm is planning to make a movie about how the Jedi came to existence, hence the Dawn of the Jedi era, in that era we'll probably get to see how the Jedi become Jedi and how it was all created. It is clear that it exists to prepare us for that film in particular. Also we know that there is another film in development about Rey rebuilding the Jedi Order. So that again explains the new Jedi Order era that is present, at least partially. Maybe there will be other projects added to it, but for now all we know about is that film. So another era explained so too, though I am not exactly sure what will take place in the old republic era i don't think they added it just to be there it has to have some meaning in this part of the timeline the sith and dark jedi are created so perhaps this idea will be explored in future movies and shows and video games i hope but at the moment i don't know what lucasfilm has planned for that time period i am pretty sure you've noticed that i haven't talked about the high republic era yet well that that's because it isn't empty. There are two projects under there. Young Jedi Adventures, the kids show that isn't relevant for this video at least. And the second project is the High Republic. I am sure you are wondering if I have gone mad or something, but no. It may have slipped past you, especially if you aren't as invested in the Star Wars franchise as me, but Star Wars has kept releasing books about the High Republic these past two years, and I have read almost every one of them. So I know what happens in this era, I am familiar with the content that happens in the books and the canon stuff. This era has crazy potential for a video game, the books add so many new layers to the Star Wars canon, like the Leverer for example. It is a creature that can suck the force and energy out of a force user, for example a Jedi, and can turn them into stone and ashes in an instant. So very cool idea of such a creature existing in this universe, perhaps it should be explored in a video game. Again, I bet you don't know why I am talking about the High Republic and saying that it will be the next big thing for Star Wars. So wait just a minute. For those that played Jedi Survivor, do you remember that scene where Ino Cordova talks about Tenelor, saying it was abandoned by the Jedi because they were attacked by a group of enemies called the Nihil? Well, guess what? The Nihil are present in the first wave of Star Wars The High Republic series. Not only present, they are the main threat to the Jedi Order. So was that detail in Jedi Survivor just an easter egg? Considering that Dagon Gera is a Jedi from the High Republic and there are a lot of story elements tied to this era, I don't think so. Besides the new Star Wars Acolyte series coming next year that also takes place in the High Republic, there is also a game coming in that era called Star Wars Eclipse made by Quantic Dream. Even though the game is not even close to launch, we're talking about 5 years apart, I think this game is gonna release in 2048, if I'm being honest. Now that the exclusivity deal with EA has expired and any studio developer can propose a game idea to Lucasfilm Games, anything is possible. I think Lucasfilm learned from the mistakes they made with the sequel trilogy and this is the next big step towards repairing those mistakes. 
I am not going to talk a lot about the show side of Star Wars because this video is about the video game side of this subject but I am sure you've seen that the shows released lately are meant to create a logical bridge between the events of the original trilogy and the sequels so that the jump within films doesn't feel so weird and illogical at the same time. With the release of the Acolyte soon, Lucasfilm is looking to create stories that aren't present in the Skywalker saga. I bet that the video games are going to have a huge part in this massive shift in direction. We've had too many games that took place in the Skywalker saga and it is time to explore new times and places. It is so hard to read the books and try to imagine those places and battles that take place in the New Republic and movies, shows and video games would change that. Of course, this change wouldn't necessarily mean that we are not going to get new games that take place in this current era. For example, Star Wars Outlaws is exploring the time between Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and it is coming next year, hopefully. You never know with Star Wars games and I am sure there will be a lot more games that won't be present in the Dawn of the Jedi or the Old Republic. However, it seems like the High Republic will be the bridge between the old Star Wars and the new Star Wars. If that will be a good move or not, we'll see. Again, I can know for certain if I am just speculating and nothing that I said in this video is true, but this seems to be the case and the way forward for Lucasfilm. The way of thinking has changed a lot from when they bought the franchise from George to now. Before, Disney just wanted to make money out of this franchise. Well, they still want to make money, but now they are more careful than before. I think they have realized that the deal with EA was another huge mistake. We have only seen a few Star Wars games to when EA was the only developer allowed to launch Star Wars games, even though it has been 10 years. This move would also solve a thing that's slowly becoming a problem with Star Wars games. Creativity. It is a lot easier to start from scratch in an era like the High Republic or Dawn of the Jedi than trying to come up with original stories in the Skywalker saga without using the planet Tatooine. Name me one game that was made by EA and that doesn't contain the Tatooine planet. Ok, maybe Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order, but besides that, there aren't any. I still think it is going to take a while to completely finish what is left with the current planned Star Wars games. Respawn alone is making 3 or 4 games that appear to take place in the Fall of the Jedi and Age of Rebellion eras. Honestly, I can't wait to see what they are cooking, but I am curious to see what a game set into the new Jedi Order would look like. And I've got to mention, when are we getting a new multiplayer game? Too much time has passed since Battlefront 2's support cancellation and I hope there is a studio out there working on another game like this. I am not referring to Squadrons, it is a very fun game game but not all people like playing ship dogfight only. It would be quite something if no one is even considering of making such a game. I know what's happened when Battlefront 2 launched, it basically changed history, but somebody must realize that you can make a lot of money from a multiplayer game set in the Star Wars universe. The expectations are quite high, but still. In the end, I am hoping that we get a lot more games than until now as Disney promised. A new game every 6 months. I don't really care if they are set into the High Republic public or not, we just want to play unique experiences set in this amazing universe and I am sure you all agree. I wanted to point out the huge potential these eras have and that Star Wars is going to expand its lore even further. Also if you like reading books, I really recommend reading some High Republic novels because I found them to be very entertaining. If not, you will soon find out what this era has in store. But until Star Wars Eclipse launches in 2048, watch this video to see the 7 Star Wars games you need to buy. Bye.